Hey guys, <coughs> uh, what's up? Um, two things. One, I need to shave. I haven't shaved in a while, so you're going to see a bit of a beard. And two, I'm kind of tired, um, but I wanted to do this because otherwise these are just going to be sitting out um, until I do an episode. So I thought, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do next episode of uh, Video Game Finds, which is going to be quite a long one, actually. I've got quite a lot of games because I haven't done one in a while. Uh, so they've kind of just built up, and yeah, usually I put them on my floor so I don't forget which ones I bought recently. And it was just taking up so much room, so I thought, fuck it, you know, I'm, I need to do this now. So, without further ado, let's do this. I'm going to save some of the best, better games for last. So let's start with some of the games I literally bought really recently. Call of Duty World at War for the PS3. This is actually my favourite, and only one that I really like in the Call of Duty series. Um, the online's pretty much fucked now because of the hackers, but the video game in general, like the zombies and... Uh, um, campaign I still really enjoy. In fact, I was playing it longer, so yeah. yeah. Um, I picked this up for a, I can't remember how much, like eight quid or something. Uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. It's a pretty good game. It's a fun little time waster sort of thing. It's one of those games that you can't, I can't really play seriously. I just sort of play um, for fun, really. I mean, I know I play all games for fun. I don't take all of them seriously, but you know what I mean. Um, it's one that I can just put on whenever I'm bored and I want to play a game, basically. Next game, No Need to Warriors Gundam 3. Uh, one of my friends, Sucker Suckers, recently actually bought uh, a Gundam Dynasty Warriors game, so I thought I'd pick one up for myself, and he's right, it's really fucking good. I mean, I'm already a fan of the Dynasty Warriors games, but as soon as I picked this up, you know, I fell in love with this one, so this is a really good game. I really recommend this one. <clears throat> Trinity Universe. This game is interesting. Um, very strange. I mean, it's it's published by NIS America, and usually the games they publish are quite sort of odd anyway. Um, but yeah, sort of just an anime JRPG, really. It's a little bit self-aware and sort of like cutesy art style and that. And it's really good, actually. Yeah, it doesn't have really any fucking, like, nudity, really, which is good. It hasn't actually not has none, thankfully, because I hate games that just sort of do that. And next one, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I was a little bit unsure about this game, although I did want it for a while, um, and then I started playing it, and it's it's actually really, really good. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at how good this game actually is, and it only cost me about £8? Maybe a bit less, £6? Something like that, I don't know. It's, it's worth it, though. It's really worth it. So I wanted to try something different, and considering this game was, I think, £2.50, um, I thought, fuck it, I'll try something different. I've never really given this series a chance, aside from the very first one on the PS2, and that game sucked. Um, but I tried uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. As I said, I tried the first one on the PlayStation, and I fucking hated it. I say I hated it, I really just couldn't get into it. But I really like this game. Uh, I mean, like I've only done like the first quarter of it, but it's really fucking good. I was really, I was happily surprised that that two pound fifty went to a good place. Um, yeah, so really, really good game actually. Uh, next one I bought so I can do co-op for Sucker Suckers at some point, and just because I, I wanted it anyway, because I want to get the whole series on PS3, and that's Dead Space Three. Yep, this cost me a few quid, uh, not much really. Um, I got it through trading anyway, so I didn't. So yeah, I traded in a bunch of stuff for it anyway, so it's not that bad. So yeah, Dead Space Three. Not a bad game so far either. So happy, right, that I found this game. It cost me 20 quid, but it was completely worth it. And that is Icon Shadow of the Colossus Classics HD Collection. Oh, as soon as I saw this and saw the amazing condition, I was like, you know what, I'm taking it, fuck it. It's the only one they had in the store as well. They literally only had this one left. And after picking up two games that I wanted and they couldn't find one of them, um, I went over and picked this one up, uh, along with Dynasty Warriors, actually. And yeah really really happy I picked this up because um, I have both of them on the PlayStation as well it's just that I really wanted the HD remake okay I'm gonna stick with sort of the PS3 uh, ones I picked up so far and it's, I actually picked this up today uh, for ten pounds uh, in the shop just up the road from me it's not a game shop it's uh, sort of like a he does everything he does like furniture jewelry cameras phones games films all that sort of shit and I go in there quite a lot so he does know me in there Anyway, yeah, he actually only paid eight for this thing, actually, remembering it, because uh, I got quite a few of them. I got a handful of uh, PS3 games off of him. Um, and, yeah, he actually gave me uh, a discount, basically. He gave me a couple of quid off, so I was like, fuck it. You know, why not? 
So instead of pay, I think instead of paying me paying like twenty odd quid, he said you only have to pay seventeen. So anyway, um, Borderlands double pack for the PS3, Borderlands two and Borderlands one. Both in there, but it actually I think this was only like opened recently because it has nothing like in the case is just like it hasn't even been used. So yeah, pick that up for about eight quid. That's not bad. Uh, next game is Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Again, I wanted to try something different, and this was only £3 part of the bundle thing that I got uh, with Borderlands 1 and 2. So I thought, yeah, why not? I'll pick this up. It's in there for 3 quid, and it's in really good condition, so why not try it? The, again, another one, and it seems to be Tom Clancy that I'm really trying this, uh, trying out new games with. And that is uh, Tony, uh, Tony, Tom Clancy's Hawk. Hawks. I heard quite a bit about this game. Um, when I looked at the fucking installation, five gigabytes minimum. Christ, better be worth it. Um, but yeah, again, this is part of the bundle thing. Good condition. I just really I wanted to try it out, so I did. Um, now we're going um, back in time a little bit to the Wii. I mean, that's not that much further back in time, but hey, it's back in time a bit. Um, and I got this for fourteen ninety nine. I got a three for two deal at this uh, particular store that I go to. Um, so I got this for $14.99 and that is Poke Park, Pikachu's Adventure. Been after this for ages and when I was able to pick it up complete and in mint condition, under 20 quid, I couldn't say no. I just saw it and I was like, that's mine. And also part of the bundle, I got uh, the Conduit Special Edition. This was only uh, $2.99 I think, something along those lines. Um, and I heard quite a bit about this game, and I heard it's actually not that bad. Uh, the second one apparently wasn't great, but this one's actually not too bad, so yeah. Um, and the other game I got in the bundle was uh, Far Cry Vengeance. And the only reason I picked this up is because there actually wasn't any other games that I wanted to pick up slash could afford. Because it was before I got paid. Um, I, went in, I went in there because I sold a few things and got uh, 20 quid, basically. Um... So I had enough for these three games, uh, and this was the other one there, and this was the only other cheap one, essentially. And this is the one I got that came for free, because it's a three for two deal. Uh, so I thought, fuck it, I'll pick it up. It's Far Cry, I'd, I quite like the series. Um, so yeah, I'll pick that up. <clears throat> okay, so right here, this is pre-owned, but it comes with pretty much everything. I think there's only one thing mission missing. I'm not 100% sure, though. As far as I'm aware, it's it's got everything, and that is Bioshock Infinite Premium Edition. The case, the, the box is really beaten up, but it comes with everything inside. Um, as far as I'm aware, it actually has everything. I'm not sure if it's got anything missing, but it comes with the um, art booklet. It comes with the little key ring. It comes with a little... Um, it looks like a sweet box. There's little raisin boxes in that. It comes with a little... Little diddy, little fing fig fingerine, figurine. You can tell I'm tired. I can't fucking speak properly. And obviously, it came with Bioshock Infinite. So I'm pretty sure that has everything actually. Uh, digital soundtrack. I'm pretty sure it doesn't come with the digital soundtracks so that might have already been downloaded. But yeah, basically. So and it was fifteen pounds, I think. So yeah, I'm. I wasn't complaining. I saw it there with. There's two other collector's editions there, um, but the other two were Call of Duty ones, and honestly, I don't really give a fuck about them. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I got that 15. Um, going sort of again further back in time now. Um, I got Made Man on the PlayStation 2 for two pounds. I had this game years ago. But I have no idea why I got rid of it. I think I was just terrible at it as a kid, and just didn't want to. And I just didn't play it like, ever. Um, but I wanted to try it again, so I thought I'd pick it up anyway. Um, next game, this is a nostalgia trip from uh, my childhood, this only cost a few quid, uh, and I got it for ma one for the nostalgia and two obviously because it was only a few quid and I actually wanted to get it again. Um, I got rid of this when I was younger, I think I, I think I actually broke it actually. I think, yeah, because I had this really bad habit of when I was a kid of um, leave it, like if I was playing a game I'd leave the disc out um, and it inevitably got scratched, and that is uh, 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, one of the ones that was kind of panned, actually. Not many people liked this one very much, but I, I really got along with it. It's really not not that bad of a game. And the disc and the case is pretty good. I'm genuinely surprised there's not like a massive crack down the front. Because that's one thing with PlayStation games. You're always going to find, like, when it's pre-owned, there's always that one crack that you see down there. But no, there wasn't. Okay, so these... Uh, a little story. I'm starting to collect my Sega Saturn now because 
Um, I recently bought the AV cables for them online so I can actually record on them and play the console because I can't actually play it without the um, cables, basically. Um, so I, I have power adapters anyway because it, it can use PlayStation 2 or PS or the big PS1 adapters, power adapters, but I didn't have any AV cables. So I got some off of Amazon. Uh, they're still in the mail at the moment, but I, got, I ordered two games and they have arrived. So the two games I got for my Sega Saturn uh, was Tomb Raider. Now, unfortunately with this, though, it was cheap, don't get me wrong, it was like £2 or something. The disc is in utter shit condition. Like, I don't know if you can see, no, you can't really, you can't really see it on the camera, but it is really fucking bad condition, so I need to go and get that cleaned, um, But which is a bit of a bummer, but because the cleaning's, to clean it is 2 quid, but... That would mean I'd spent four quid on this game, and and to be honest, for a Sega Saturn game, and for one that aside from the manual is complete, I'm not going to complain um, that much about it because um, two quid's nothing really. So yeah, I got um, Tomb Raider on the Sega Saturn. Uh, this game is a must-have uh, for me. It was a must-have, and the disc is um, pretty much fine. I think the middle bit's a little bit scratched, but yeah, it's close to immaculate essentially. Um, it has no manual, because uh, with Sega Saturn games with manuals are ridiculously hard to come by. Um, but yeah, um, I had to pick this up, and that was uh, Resident Evil. It cost me about like, £14 this game, uh, but yeah, I had to. I just had to get Resident Evil, because uh, it was... Because I have, I, I think I now have all versions of Resident Evil 1, um, PAL versions of them. I have the Sega Saturn one now, I have the PlayStation version, I have the remake on the GameCube, and I... I don't have it on PSN, but that doesn't really count to me. So, yeah, got that on the Saturn. Okay, so the <clears throat> saving the best for last thing that I was saying at the beginning of the video. Um, this actually caught me caught me off guard. Uh, I got it yesterday. It, the game cost me thirty five pounds, and I usually don't spend that much on a single game unless I know I'm never going to see it again, and it is on my to buy list um, and a, a game that I really want to play. Um, and yeah, this was definitely on that list, and they were selling it for thirty-five pounds, which I thought was quite cheap for the get for this particular game. Um, everything, the casing's a little bit, a little bit worn, but aside from that, it's fine. The cases are in immaculate condition. All of the discs have literally no marks on them. I have checked every single disc, and none of them have single mark on them. So the discs are practically new. Only problem is the disc holders are a li are broken, so when I hold it, I have to be careful. I don't rattle it and scratch it my belt. But yeah, all the discs are in immaculate condition, and it's complete. Everything's complete. And that game is... Drumroll. It's a Dreamcast game. Shenmue. This game, you would not believe how long I have fucking well looked for this game. I have looked for this forever. I mean, ever since I'd heard about it and seen gameplay on it, I wanted it, and I could never find it. It, it was actually, um, I went, I went into the shop, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, it's just that when I went in, um, I always look over behind the counter, because sometimes they have things that have recently been traded in, um, and they usually have some retro games there um, that they haven't put on the shelf just yet. So I was looking up there, and I saw a really thick Dreamcast case, and I was like, not many are like that, and then I saw it was Shenmue. When I asked him, I expected him to say £45 to 50 which I wasn't going to pay. Regardless, if I wouldn't see it again out in the wild, I would never pay that much for it. And when he said £35, I hesitated briefly, and then I went, you know what, I'm taking it. Because, as I said, everything... I mean, look at the case's condition. It's, like, practically new. So, yeah. All the discs are there. Everything, as I said, all the discs are in immaculate condition. As I said, the only problem is I have to be careful... Uh, when I move it because of the loose discs, um, because of the case holder thing, but anyway, this has turned into a really long episode, fuck me, 15 minutes nearly, um, anyway, I I'm going to end this here because I don't want this to become too long, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this really long and really sort of exciting episode, I guess, especially for me, of video game finds, and I'll see you in all my other videos, so yeah, bye.